I wound up showing up this one here. And I'm gonna let this guy take over, which is the past me here in this one here. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna re I'm gonna delete these videos. Hopefully, you'll be able to see it because I know that it blurs out, and I apologize for that. But there's not much I can do. I didn't know it was gonna do that. But it was actually off me recording from my camera, the actual direct camera from my phone. Let's see. Well, we are at 100%. So, anyway, later. That's first game. Now, this is my first game. My first one I've ever done. I actually played through this app. I've got two places I actually opened up. And what it is is they give you achievements there. But, uh... What you do is you, you struggle quite a bit. This is actually the first game I actually picked up, and it's pretty cool. And uh, that's where, that's London. I will, it will go here. What it is, you have to go to level 31, uh, you know, just to do anything with. But other than that, you know, it's going to take a while. So I just let it kind of end it. Reason why they call it idle is because you can literally like kind of build on its own for a while. And the, but the difference is, is I mean, unlike in, in miners, that game you, you have to actually collect on this, and that's what that does. And what you do is you build up enough to, to you know, upgrade. And uh, what you want to do is, uh, if you're going to do upgrading, I would recommend that you wait until you have enough to upgrade just about everything. And it will also give you a more star ready spatial, which you also have to have items like that, which come in randomly, or you can buy them. But, um, yeah, and once you get to a high level, you can modify it, but it gives you more of a percentage ratio. And once you get up to a certain level, you can actually unlock this. You also want these. Always claim those, even if it comes for, for like a, a like an advertisement, which is fine. It gives you a lot to think about. Uh, so, and you want this when as soon as it comes available. And this is what this does is it brings back shoot down to zero guns, but it'll come back back to one gun. And what it does is it, it, it come across it with a force, but it kind of halts them back, including the boss. Boss kind of gets you still have to make sure you have all your weapons and stuff. But either way, once you've modified your weapons, you should be able to take down the boss with no problem. Dogs, I wouldn't get them to unless you're actually paying more money into it, which is stupid. But, you know, like this here, you know. And there's always the airplane and the big gun. The big gun is the thing that fires a big laser that comes out randomly, including that one right there. It takes gold to reload them, but you can wait also for a time period for it to kind of reload on its own, which will take quite a while. But either way, I thought I would show off at least these two games, and um, there's not much to them. I mean, I could have just started to show you at level one, but you can obviously reclaim the items, and you can pay ten bucks just to reclaim to claim all the newer ones. Give you a bunch more gold stuff that you would really need ultimately to do, uh, or you can just wait a while patiently. Cause like right now, I got that. I can't do that unless I want to buy that up there. Come on, camera, come on, camera. This is nine dollars ninety nine cents. Just one, in case you're wondering. Even though it says City Pass, there's Free Pass. Free Pass is the one where you can get an obvious little, obvious little deal. You can also get gold to the free one. But other than that, you know, it's a bunch you can claim here. See all that? They're all locked because I didn't purchase the package. I don't know if it's a one-time package or you just have to just like, uh, after that's unlimited or what, unlike the other game. Because the other game, well, even though I paid out like $9.97 and then $24.99 for another one, it was every month. Well, if it was a one package free time for a lifetime, it would be fine. Because I can't always guarantee I'll have it to cover with. See, this is pretty cool, though. Yeah, it cut me off. I don't know why. But anyway, the, uh, <laughs> hey, well, yeah, I'm, I'm here again. So what I want to point out, though, is that what I was pointing to, you couldn't see. I don't know. I, I guess I wasn't able to get the camera to focus good enough. But 
Well, what it was was okay. You had where you can rebuild your revenue, and once you get to level thirty-one, I think it is what it tells me. You have to unlock it for each level. What I had to do was I had to play London first and get it up to thirty-one. I didn't even know that. I mean, I actually from actually what I remember though is I actually had to go a little bit further than that before I can get the next area unlocked. Um, but according to the deal, it says to get to level 31 or something like that, which makes absolutely no sense. But anyway, the boss is no problem. And what it is, is the very first thing I did was, instead of doing the rebuild my finances, which, <laughs> it's, you know, they both come in handy, but, uh, it takes gold. And once you unlock it, it comes in handy once you've, even though you're, like, cleaning, as it calls it, cleaning back, to, which, it's stupid, but, you know, at the same time, it's good because you can get, like, basically, like I was showing there, there with the uh, the force builds or whatever you call them, those little things that back them up, those little electrical things, like, kind of like having an electrical gate. They try and get through, and they can't get through it, which is good. The boss can pass through it, though, which makes absolutely no, no sense. But the gate still kind of affects him, but not as much as you'd think it would, you know. Ultimately, you still have to take him out depending on how strong he is. And, um, you know, the stronger the boss, the harder he is to fall down. Which means you're going to be upgrading your weapon. And at first, it's going to be like your your weapon's going to be broken. You can actually buy an upgrade, but I'm not going to do that. I would have to buy through either out of my own pocket or credit. And I'm not going to buy credit just to do that. Yeah, you can buy credit, you know monthly you know or you know or like every other month where you can get so much amount for each like store for store credit and you buy out of that even though it technically came out of your money but either way i would just recommend playing it for free because it is for free so but i'm not gonna sit there and start doing that stuff that's just dumb I mean, you know, I don't mind putting out here and there if I have to for certain things, but if <laughs> that's all depends on whether or not I have the budget and whether or not I have the uh, aforementionable means to do so. But anyway, you know, the first thing you should obviously do is do the one, the second one closest to the rebuild your deal because it helps out with your base and then um i think i actually had to do that anyway first place anyway to, to yeah it was actually i had to do that but it's still good it comes in handy that way you can also reclaim items too uh i think you can i don't know <laughs> but uh yeah so what ultimately you want to have that and you want to have to uh you want to be able to increase your basically your source of income that comes from that and it, what it does is built up even though that the source of income is directly coming from zombies that drop money which makes no sense but you give me uh you get a bigger reward war just getting your raw zombies and you can get like uh quite a bit from uh, you know raves of zombies and then you can get quite a bit from the bosses, but they're not as, you know, big as deal. Uh, I, I guess they are the higher that they are, but not compared to the waves in terms of getting money. You know, but there's always a boss, so, yeah. <laughs> and there's even a boss in the, the second game I was showing off there. I forgot to mention that. Anyway, I'm tired. I think I'm going to take my nap here in a little bit. I just want to let y'all know that that's the kind of game uh, I got into. And there is one more I'd like to show off, but I just kind of played it on my own. And it gives you an opportunity to practice and get your way to realm to... I don't know if it lets you do any... Because, uh, yeah, there's healing in the game. Like, every... I think it's four levels or something. And then every so randomly, you might meet a devil. And you'll be going, I don't want to go to a devil. 
Um, actually, I recommend it because, believe it or not, uh, unless, of course, it's not worth it. There might be times, but I've, so far, I've found every one of it worth it, even though I'm sacrificing health. Um, you know, like, especially for extra life, because uh, that comes in handy, especially against tougher foes. Um, you know, and you want to, you know, just like, what you do is you, uh, well, I'll go over it when I go through it. But, yeah, I mean, you know, other than that, I just, saying that the, the devil is worth it. I mean, in real life, you might think the devil is not worth it, but in this game, yeah. You're sacrificing something to get it. And that's not bad at all. Considering how much defense and how much attack you can pull off with that, especially with what you've already built up beforehand, because you get options to do that, and that's it. awesome. And let me tell you, if it wasn't for that, I would not even be playing it. <laughs> you know, and not that I would never ever refuse an offer from the devil, but you know, at least I'm not giving up my soul. I suppose you might say. Because in real life, you're supposed to believe that you give up your soul. But these devils are worth the wait. They're worth the while to get. There's also spin tables you can also claim uh, with free ads. I know that even I don't like ads. But at least you don't have to worry about paying for other things in there. and Because it's dumb. Uh, you know... <laughs> But what that does is give you extra stuff in there. You don't have to go for them. But what also bothered me about my the second game I was playing was it kept constantly coming up with ads and stuff about insurance and stuff like that. I'm like, come on, man! I'm just trying to play the game. I mean, every time I would, you know, like like after I bit up there, I tap the damn or it says to tap when you heard me when I think cling 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 like that kind of thing. Yeah, I had to sit there and. Oh my god, it drove me nuts. Almost to clear to 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning has how long I played this damn game. Literally, and that was the second game. And this game actually happens to be part of the set where you can... Uh, you know, once you actually like the thing on Facebook, what you can do is just exit out and then go over. And it's like... Oh, okay, so you already liked it. <laughs> it's like it always wants you to like, especially for new things, especially when you upgrade your weapons and stuff. But then, of course, when you merge them, which is basically, you know, you fuse them together, uh, you always have to have at least one. And when it gets to that level, even though you have to do the ad to get it, which is nuts, but hey, it's worth it. I would take every advantage of the chance you can get because... The more you can do it, the more better off you are, especially if you want to play the game. I mean, it's going to be like this one game, Final Fantasy, um, All the Bravest. There's not going to be much point to it uh, from what I can tell. Unless there's more unlocked. I don't know. It might be once you've, un once you've pretty much bought all the spaces, once it comes available. But a lot of times you'll notice that you'll have to actually upgrade your weapon to a certain level. Uh, the first one, anyway. Uh, you know, and for it to unlock other spaces. Because otherwise, you'll start small. You won't start like I did there. Because that, there actually, that's not even how I started. I actually started smaller than that, believe it or not. And, um, so the objective, again, is to obviously get money, kill the zombies. The ultimate goal is to build up your, you know, objective. Anyway, it's to build up your weapons. Your, you know, get them the highest you can get. And, you know, basically always make sure that you have weapons to back up the other weapons. Because otherwise the zombies will get through. So, yeah. And be prepared for advertisements when you put, when you click on level. Or, excuse me, tap on level. Like, when you sit up there, I never even noticed it when I first played it. But then I started like, oh, so that's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> and I waited a little bit before I tapped on boss. Because, yeah, you can actually... But, with this game, though, the boss is optional. Well, you can All you have to do is just basically tap it. But I would, I would recommend that you wait until you're ready. 
Like basically, make sure you have enough guns and that your guns are basically upgraded because the boss is going to be tough. Pretty much. Anyway, I don't know if there's much point in building up your money other than buying up slots for right at the moment. I haven't been that far myself personally. But in the long run, I would recommend definitely playing it, giving it to go. And once it's, once it's done, just give it up, I guess. I don't know what else to tell you. Because it's just one of those games. that, And when I say idle, I mean you can actually go away for a while. Like, in other words, like you can sleep or you can go to your business meeting and come back. Like, uh, after you pause or, you know, let the game kind of play in the background. And it's like that other game that I was talking about as well. It's called Last Survival. And, uh, you know, it was, they had that $9.99, the $24.99 for the two packages. It was monthly. Um, and they had different kind of deals. But anyway, even though they did come in handy for that. But see, what you can do is, like, the minor difference between that and that is that it's last survival. You didn't have to click on, you know, whatever. You had to actually build or place things out there. Yeah. Um... And you needed help sometimes. And then there was raids you have to do and blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Crazy. Kind of like in the other game, it was like Final Fantasy, um, I think it was 15, The New Empire. Yeah, it was actually. Or the 14. I can't remember now the number. But I do know that for a fact that they had that up there. And it, I liked the game. Don't get me wrong. But there was just so much of it that I didn't like. Like when they made a demo and they didn't bother with it. I even suggested that they do that. And they said, well, okay, we'll think about it. We'll get, we'll send it down to the devs or the programmers. And they never did anything about it. So pfft. ultimately they wound up making more packages and stuff that just literally didn't make any sense. And uh, so and no matter how far you get, you after a while... You'll have to wait for upgrades, because it takes uh, a while. And if you have much experience like I do, do not use your gems unless you absolutely have to. The ones that say that you can make it get for free, don't do it. If it offers you for free right away without using a gem, then yeah, you can do that. So yeah, I mean, and when the game was even first shown to me, there was no, you gotta have resources and stuff. That was stupid. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I don't mind there being resources in part of a game. But when you think about all the cool stuff that's not in there, uh, resources don't really necessarily make it cool, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, but, um, yeah, like the cannons and stuff like that, I thought that was pretty cool. And then there was, like, enemies that were flying in. I was like, you know, what happened to that? What's What's, you know, I don't like when they make demos like that. Anyway, I'm going to go now, and uh, yeah, later. Bye-bye.